All right, so today we're back with another audio plugin spotlight. And in this video, we're going to be looking at another plugin from the Krotos collection called Dehumanizer. So this is actually my favorite plugin from the Krotos collection because it basically allows you to transform your voice into pretty much any creature, beast, monster you can think of. So this is essentially a voice modulation plugin and it's one of the best I've worked with. It's super realistic and super fun to use. So stay tuned for that and we're gonna dive right into this plugin. Now, I've developed a totally free mini course called The Threshold. It's designed to equip you with all the tools and knowledge you need to record industry standard dialogue, implement high quality sound design, and integrate music seamlessly into your own audiovisual projects. You'll also learn valuable high demand audio production skills that'll help you take your career to the next level. So after this video is over, I want you to go down below and check out the link in the description box to gain access to this free mini course and to a dedicated community of audio professionals. Okay, let's get back into the video. All right, so as you can see, we have Dehumanizer open over here. It's muted right now, so you don't hear anything. And as usual, I cooked up a little example for us. So this is just a video I found on Pixabay of, a, as you can see in the right corner, top right corner, it's a tiger. So it's gonna be a slow motion tiger walk. And I've already recorded something. It's not the best, so I'm hoping to actually work and improve this example live on the spot with you guys here today. But you're going to get a pretty good idea of what this plugin is capable of. So keep in mind that this was recorded using my voice modulated into dehumanizer. And that's pretty much all there is. That's all there is actually. So let's listen to what that sounds like. And let's see if we can make it a little bit better. Yeah, so the the one I think it, it the a general motif is pretty good. So I was going for like kind of like a breathing, you know, like an intimidating kind of you know, without those random blips of roaring. So the reason that happens is you can actually see on the waveform if I expand it a little bit. So there's a certain threshold. So this plugin basically what it's doing is it is triggering audio samples I would imagine it's not it's not like a synth or anything so there are audio samples baked into it and depending on the amplitude of your voice of your signal and the length the duration of the note things like that it's listening for that kind of stuff and it's using that as information to trigger different samples so you do want to play with it a little bit kind of just practice you know see how you know develop kind of like a synergy between your voice and the plugin or the specific preset that you've got on right now, which there are lots of them. Right now, I actually have one specifically for Tiger Monster, which is over here. So there's two Tiger sounds. There's this one is just roaring. And this one is a little bit more what I was going for now. And you got tons of stuff, you got musical stuff. So you can like have like vocoder like effects, dialogue stuff, you can have like, let's say you have a actual alien or orc or beast or something that actually talks words you can use this as a filter which is pretty cool uh we're not going to get into that right now because it's you know it's a it's a big plugin to explore and you guys can just download the free trial and give it a shot for yourself however i do recommend a dynamic microphone right now i'm using a shotgun microphone which is right over here as it should be but dynamic microphone, you get better results. So we are going to struggle a little bit here today. Uh, although I do have one right over there. But, you know, just for the simplicity of this video, we're going to just use the shotgun microphone. So yeah, so you can modify things. This is a node based plugin. Um, 
there's a lot, obviously a lot to dive into. You can create your own sound, so it's very complex, but we're going to keep it nice and simple for today and just see if we can improve on what I did using, well, what comes right out of the box. So let's go ahead and mute this and bring this over here. All right, so disarm this guy and yeah. So we're going to, there you go. So this is what it sounds like in, in real time. So pretty cool. So I'm going to do that for a second so you guys can hear me. So I'm going to go ahead and record another take right now. And we're going to see what that sounds like. It reacts to my keyboard sounds too, apparently. Let's just go ahead and mute that. So, <laughs> all right. So let's listen to and let's see what that did. If that came out any better. So also, you guys notice that I got a bit louder at the end, you know, to match. You know, he's getting closer, so we want to get a little bit more, you know, just kind of stuff. So you want to sketch your ideas out first, and then see if you can improve them, take after take. Well, oh, then unmute it. Let's unmute that. Yeah, so actually towards the end, we're getting into some stuff. Like I like the end portion, like this part, sorry, like maybe like this part. The beginning was kind of like inconsistent, like the breath wasn't. So you see you actually have to give it your all for this. You can't just, uh, the plugin's not going to do a lot for you. It will modulate your voice, but it's not going to... It's not going to do the thing for you. Like you actually got to do the performance, even if it's not a human being, like you got to, you got to impersonate a tiger or whatever it is that you're trying to impersonate. So I really like this last portion, like the mouth noise too. Like you, you got to really use the full extent of your voice. So. So this plugin just makes it possible, but you still gotta you, you still gotta put in the work. So before a plugin like this existed, you know, there are people that are actually well either going out into the field and recording sounds or actually doing tiger sounds with their voice or whatever. But this just makes it a little bit easier, you know, if you don't have that kind of training, but you still gotta you still gotta create the performance. So I hope that you enjoyed this uh this demo and this little mini tutorial on how to design voices and Pro Tools using Dehumanizer. If you did, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more audio plugin spotlights just like this. And just to let you know, the next video we have coming up is another uh, plugin from Crotos. This one is called Reformer Pro, so it's another vocal bass plugin, but this one allows you to create Foley sounds with your voice. So I hope that you're excited for that and we'll see you in the next one.